and we are ready when you are. Okay, let me give you uh, the injuries real quick. Um, the guys that didn't practice today were uh, Austin Blythe. We gave him just a rest day. He's, he's making progress and doing great. Um, and then uh, Tyron didn't practice, still in protocol, and we'll just see see how things go here. Um, everybody else practiced, so we had a good day with that. Look forward to the challenge of playing the Browns. Um, good football team. We, we know that. We've had a good week of practice, and again, you know, we look forward to playing here at Arrowhead. So that time's yours. We'll go first to Herbie T.O.P. Go ahead, Herbie. And Coach, obviously the big one, I'll get this one out of the way. Uh, I do have two questions for you. With, with Tyron Matthews' situation, I know you said you'll see how things will go. What is your optimism level that you can take this up to the 12th hour and hopefully he'll pass his test and, and be able to play on Sunday? Yeah, I'm, listen, Herbie, we're just going to see how it goes. I'm, we've got uh, the other guys at practice and are ready to go. If, if he can't go, he can't go. If he can, then he can't. Okay. And lastly, uh, Frank Clark, how did he look in practice this past week? And then how, what kind of role you see him playing on Sunday? Yeah, no, listen, he worked hard and uh, I thought he looked pretty good. You know, we'll, we'll see how we'll see how it goes with him too. But he, he's sure looked good the last few days. Go next to Sam McDowell. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, Andy, just had an offbeat question. I uh, wonder what you thought about um, your alma mater, BYU, joining the Big 12. Yeah, do they finalize that? Is it, yeah, is it yeah. done now? Oh man, that's great. That's that's phenomenal. Yeah, the good people up there, um, and they deserve uh, they deserve that that opportunity. So it's great. Let's go next to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, Coach, uh, dating back to the initial weekend of training camp, uh, and, and Steve Spagnuolo had noted this, you guys have been trying to get the legs back under Juan Thornhill to an extent, uh, maybe thrown into the fire this weekend. I know we don't know, but how have you seen him progress um, from training camp starting now leading into potentially a bigger role in week one? Yeah, I mean, if Juan has to play, he'll do fine. I mean, that's not he, – he's he's had a good week of practice, a couple weeks of practice here. So, um, well, we have full trust in him, yeah. Let's go next to Harold Koontz. Go ahead, Harold. Andy, it's nothing like the real thing, and especially for those rookies you have on the team, just your discussions with them on just how ready they are for the atmosphere of Arrowhead 1, and then 2, just getting prepared for that real thing and, and the Cleveland Browns. Yeah. Um, listen, uh, there's nothing like the real thing. I mean, that's that's a good point. Uh, we've talked about it. It's loud, and um, it, it's especially if you're on the defensive side, you really got to focus in and <clears throat> make sure that you get all the calls and, and, you know, that you hear them and, and, or see the signal. So uh, that becomes important. And on the offensive side, you know, again, obviously it's going to be louder than normal. So it's, um, you know, you gotta be, you gotta be sharp. You gotta be focused in and can't let that, <clears throat> you know, affect your game in, in any negative way at all. And we'll go last to Todd Lebo. Go ahead, Todd. I had a couple quick things. First, Coach, on just for fans who maybe don't know how it works, on the, the COVID front on testing, at this point, is Tyron the only one who will could be in the protocol, or are there, are there another testing things that happen today or tomorrow for anyone? No. I mean, we're moving, moving forward. Yeah. yeah, we're good there. Okay. And another one on the BYU deal. Did you play – Teammates with Tom Holmo, the AD, with you guys were on the same team together in college. I sure right? did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you yeah, tell I, me a little bit about him? I watched him on the Zoom today. He seems like he really loves BYU and very happy to be in the league. Can you just give us a little insight on what he's about and maybe any relationship you've had with him <laughs> since then? Yeah. So Tom, Tom and I actually went there together, and um, he, uh, uh, Tom was a real good NFL player too on those championship San Francisco teams. So um, he. He knows, he obviously knows sports, period. He was a heck of a uh, all-around all athlete. And um, and he's a tremendous person. As good as he is at all that and was at that, he, he's just a phenomenal person and very, very intelligent. So uh, BYU's in good hands with him. And I, I didn't get a chance to see this, so I'm, but I, if he was excited, I'm excited. So that's, uh, that's how I look at it. Coach, we appreciate the time today. Thanks for joining us. All right. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, hang tight. We'll get Hitch and uh, and Orlando Brown coming to you.